According to Alison Williams, Gen Z is more in tune with her character on Girls than Millennials. The actress, 36, claimed that her hated character Marnie was past her time and that she thought the first viewers of Lena Dunham's HBO series misunderstood the idea. Even though Girls' sixth season run ended seven years ago, the program is now again becoming popular on social media. The M3 GN alum, who attracted notice in a plunging black gown at the January Golden Globes, revealed that the Gen Z audience is drawn to her character because of this. Her character is one of four protagonists in the comedic drama series located in New York City. In a Vanity Fair video interview that was published on Tuesday, Williams, who was reunited with her old co-star Eben Moss Backrack, stated that while some viewers thought the show was too self-centered when it first aired, more people now perceive it as self-care. Moss Backrack, who portrayed Marnie's musician lover who later became her husband, discussed the second wave of fame and her feelings on the return of girls to prominence. When the episode first aired in April 2012, more than 10 years ago, she added, the whole show got a lot of flack for everyone being too selfish and self-centered and blah blah blah. She claimed that viewers who may have found the show through social media snippets or are currently re-watching it are pro Marnie this time around and comprehend the character, who was once praised for being self-serving and tone deaf. My hypothesis is that millennials now perceive what was once considered selfishness as self-care, the speaker went on. Gen Z then says, no, we understand her. We can understand her. At the time, she said, the point was, missed a little bit, but audiences today, are just getting it. I believe that's a pursuit that is resonant in a new way, previously, it just seemed as though we were unaware that other nations existed or that there were people who were not as fortunate as we are, but that was kind of the point, the woman stated. It was just partially overlooked. She also discussed where she thought her character Marnie would be at this point in her conversation with Moss Backrack. Williams stated, I believe Marnie's still attempting to pursue a singing career, in addition to other jobs, before speculating that she believed her character would have left New York City. I envision her having been married before, and I believe she is close to making the decision to become a mother on her own, she went on. I kind of see her in Boston, she remarked desiring to remain near. Amtrak departing, but not in the same way, requiring a new zip code. Moss Backrack, who will be seen in the third season of The Bear on Hulu, also revealed his thoughts on the possible fate of his character, Desi. He claimed that in order to organize tours, the suffering artist would have relocated as well, but farther out to the west, possibly to Arizona. In a February interview with Variety, Dunham also recently shared his thoughts on the revival of the program. The embrace was described as, crazy and wild and not something I expected, by the director, who also appeared in the series as Hannah, an aspiring writer. When someone sends a humorous meme to the actors or myself, we share it. I started creating this program when I was 23 years old, and I will turn 38 in May. If I make a pilot, wow, what a life experience was how I felt. Therefore, the fact that anyone is still watching a show that debuted before Instagram was created? How absurd is that? The actress also expressed her gratitude and admiration to both new and old followers and viewers. I've seen your TikTok mashups, so to whoever is spearheading the comeback, thanks. Even though I'm not really active on Instagram and am not technologically proficient, I am thankful for them. I am feeling and appreciating the love that I am receiving. Max allows users to stream every episode of Girls 6 Seasons.